So our son who is turning 22 tomorrow wants to camp out. However, I have to work. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna set up a little camp spot for him out of the park and that way he can show up and he can enjoy the camp. So we have a grandchild, so it's kind of a way for him to just relax and have a night to himself. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up for him. I'm gonna send along one of these Keg Creek Brewing, these, these moon gold apricots. Oh, they're beautiful. So I'm gonna send one of these for him to enjoy tonight. I think he'll really like it. Let's see, we got one RV camper over there. One in the pull through spots. I got to pay. So this area over here is in a nice little bowl. And uh, I know the ground's flat over there because we've camped there plenty of times. And there's uh, an electrical hookup if he wants it. So we're gonna come on in here and see what's, what's shaking. I think they're running their electricity all the way down to here. So this is a great view, but these people are running their power down right through the middle of this camp, which, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but that might be kind of uncomfortable for him. And they have a dog. All right. So while I thought this was gonna be a cool place, maybe we'll just move him on over here. That's like moving in there, man. Holy crap. I don't know, I don't wanna say they're moving in, but they must be staying there for a while. Maybe they're a service contractor or something like that, but, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, their setup made me super uncomfortable. It just everywhere and not taking care of camp, but whatever. I mean, I'm sure they'll clean it up. That's the most important thing is clean up when you leave. So, I know my son, he's gonna drive to the gas station to use the restroom because he's not pooping in that thing. I don't blame him. That's why I carry a porta pot porta potty because something about just pooping over a big, dark, scary hole <laughs> it's not scary but it's creepy as crap right man i'm gonna have to camp here next time i never realized how cool this was look so i'll put his tent here let me check this out he can come on over here this is nice perfect little fishing spot i'm gonna have to bring his little brothers down here Get down to the water down there. Oh, oh man, the fish are already out by. Should have brought my pole. Dang it. Since it's Ethan's birthday, I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't have to bring much to camp. So I picked up some wood. Um, pretty much got all of his coffee stuff ready. So I'll go over that with him. But really, I just want him to show up and enjoy camp. So. This is the light uh, he's going to be using tonight. It's this LE light. I picked it up off of Amazon, but it's cool because it has its own little cord to charge it, the USB hookup. But what I like about it is you can also, I don't have it wrapped right, you can hang it like a lantern. Uh, you can set it up on a table. Um, it's got a USB charger that you can charge into it with, with your cellular device or whatever you need to. And then it also has a battery level right there. And it's also magnetic. It's just a really, really useful light. We've had it now for going on three years. This is our third season with it. Comfy chair when you're car camping. Yeah. So I've got this really cool cod. I got two of them from a coworker. They're uh, from Coleman. They're a low profile cod, so they just fit in here great. And uh, they actually fit in the tent really well since they're nice and, and squat. I'm gonna get his uh, sleep set up, put together. I am gonna put this, the screen on there just because he may need that later. And I think he's coming now, so that'll be good. 
So that right there is not my son. And I literally just had a moment with the guy where I waved him into camp. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I just put a box on the end of this USB. Plug it in here. And it's charging now. So by the time he needs it, when the sun goes down tonight, and it's magnetic, so how <laughs> cool is that? It'll be ready to go for him. And we just put fresh batteries in both the headlamps. So you guys know I'm a big, big fan of Energizer headlamps. I have a good history with them. They've been through a lot with me, cold weather, rain, heat, and they just keep lasting. I recently replaced one of them. And this one is from last year. It's one of our ultra light ones that we picked up, but I'm gonna give Ethan both the option of whatever he wants to use. Well, his camp is set up except for putting on his uh, rain fly, but perfect timing. Here he comes looking for me. I see him. He's creeping. He's creeping. There he is. <laughs> All right. Plug in a light so that'll be ready for you tonight. You got a cooler, your chair, table, fire pit. You tell me. Like it. Yeah? You're chilling. I've had, um, I'm, I was off all week, obviously, so I've had Oliver all week. I'm very tired. Ready to relax? Every night, every day. What do you think? I like it. Go lay in there and tell me what you think of that. I put the cod up, but I wasn't sure. The tag should be on the right side now? Yep. Okay, so, it's pretty easy to take these guys and clip them down here. Beverages, heck yeah. You got a little bit of Jack Daniels in oh, there. Advice. Oh, and I gave you this guy. It's a, it's a really good beer. Okay, well, here's camp set up. Emily's joining Ethan, but unfortunately, they got the baby, so. <laughs> so she's gonna have to leave. She won't be able to stay all night with them. Not yet. But we got some ideas to set some set some stuff up for him, so I'm gonna get working on that. Brought Luna, the Shiba Inu. She's busy. Oh, she's oh, better not show that. She's taking care of business. <laughs> but yeah, they have a nice little setup. Great little car camp setup, and he's ready to go. They're young parents. They need that time to just relax. And I think I'm gonna do a little build out on uh, their little SUV that they have. They have a, uh, a Chevy Trax. So I think I'm gonna try a little build out on it and we'll see how it works. Um, just one way that grandpa here can help uh, our grandson's mom and dad, who we love dearly, get out and enjoy the outdoors and uh, nature with each other and not have to have too much to worry about setting up and taking down and yeah it's time to pass the flame on a little bit boy I love camping 